the fields of this family farm in the Polkanicha region are bone dry. It hasn't rained here for weeks. Wheat is going to be sown in these fields. This customized machine from German company Horsch is plowing up the soil while simultaneously injecting chemical fertilizers into it. Horsch salesman Vadim Kovel sold the machinery to the farmer for the equivalent of about 80,000 euros. It only turns over the top few centimeters of soil. This allows valuable water to remain in the ground. That creates an ideal seedbed for growing wheat. The effects of climate change in central Ukraine are evident. We used to have a mild, temperate climate, but now it's become incredibly dry. This is threatening economic development. That's why we need customized technology to preserve the groundwater. Salesman Vadim Kovel says his best-selling farm machine by far is a cedar called the Pronto. It's also made by Horsch, which has responded to climate change by quickly developing specialized new machinery. Last year, Vadim Kovel sold more than 20 million euros worth of farm machinery. Besides plowing and fertilizing the soil, the Pronto also sows the wheat seeds. The machine costs over 100,000 euros, but it substantially increases yields. Here in the back are special rollers that compact the soil. This ensures that enough water remains in the ground for the seeds to germinate. Horsch operates a service centre together with another family-run business. The ability to provide spare parts quickly is crucial for their sales business. In Ukraine, it's hard to get bank loans to purchase farm machinery. The majority of Vadim's biggest customers are large-scale operations that can pay in cash. There are basically two types of farmers, the new generation of growers and the older generation of collective farms from the Soviet era. The new farmers better understand financing, economics, and the technology of modern agribusiness. The following day brings the first rain in two months. Vadim has meetings at an industrial plant in Kremenchuk. It employs 1,500 people. The plant produces wheel rims for the rollers on the Horsch Pronto cedars. In earlier times, the company primarily worked for the various republics of the former Soviet Union. Now it's trying to win customers from Western Europe, because the factory is only using a third of its capacity. Even though Horsch doesn't produce large numbers of units here, the business is important for the Ukrainian plant. Working with them is good for our image. It forces us to keep improving our quality and pay attention to our cost structure. Also, we have to streamline our logistics because a customer like Horsch demands their products just in time. During the drive back, Vadim considers other metal parts that the Ukrainian company might be able to make for Horsch. Foreign investor confidence in Ukraine has been recovering since the country's crisis in 2014. Even though there is still corruption and fighting in the country's east. Life goes on. Farmers have to ensure that the soil in their fields remains fertile. But overall, the situation in Ukraine is at least forcing business to reassess things and keep moving forward with new products, better financing and new technology in order to be profitable. The wheat planting is in full swing. Agriculture is one of Ukraine's most important industries, and grain farmers harvested a bumper crop in 2016, a record year for the industry.